Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 66. That is Jeff the Funeral Commander Harbison. I am Ryan Thogmartin and we've got a very new live show on site location that we haven't done this before. Um, so what do we got coming up today? Uh, today is going to be really cool where we're going to have the manufacturer, the distributor, and the funeral home that is sharing with families on a casket product. I'm really excited to have it. It's going to be our sitch group. But all of this is brought to us by our friends at Fast Funding Group, Jamie and the crew. We actually have some new video. Go ahead and roll that promo, Ryan. Hello. My name is Adam Martin, and I'm the president of Martin Funeral Cremation and Tribute Services in Michigan. We've had the pleasure of working with C&J Financial with Jamie and their great staff for the past seven years. I'd like to say if anyone is out there who takes care of many families in a year, and if you're like us, a lot of families will utilize an insurance policy. Sometimes we may have to wait weeks or even a couple of months in order for that proceeds to pay your funeral home. I would urge you to give CNJ Financial a call and find out how they can expedite that process for you, do a lot of the legwork for you, get a lot of the paperwork for you, and make your life just a little bit easier to allow you to have some more time to work with your families. So again, I'd like to thank CNJ Financial for the past seven years, and I'd urge you to give them a call if you have any questions. Thank you. Okay, Jeff. So the buzz for the week, uh, FTC investigation results what do you got to say about that um i have to say that it's ridiculous that we're still dealing with folks that are not doing their job however there are some caveats that this is changing and uh frankly the foresight forecast will be out uh shortly with the response one of the things that's changed if you're doing arrangements in a room i'm actually in an arrangement room that has urns or any other product you have to give the casket and the out of burial price list immediately. You need to pay attention to what we're going to share with you on the foresight forecast. It's kind of scary, folks. So uh, stay tuned for that. Excellent. So this week's buzz, sponsored by our good friends at Pierce Chemical. Let's roll that promo. Pierce is in the bomber's choice for fluids and over 1,800 different prep room supplies in stock. Visit us at piercechemical.com to learn more about Pierce. Hey, Ryan, this week uh, on the More You Know Minute, this comes from Lisa in Minnesota. She's cold up there right now. Should my Instagram account be linked to my Facebook account? Uh, absolutely not. It's a very easy thing to do, and Instagram makes it easy. Just turn on Facebook. You can publish both places. However, analytics show that content that is published on Instagram and pushed to Facebook from a business page gets less engagement and less reach. So it's best that you have content posted on both platforms separately and natively for that platform. There you have it, folks. Ryan, how do they reach you? Ryan at disruptmedia.co or Google me. Dot co. You're just so cool because you don't even need an M. You're just nah, a dot. No M. Done. That's big time. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and roll our uh, interviews today. Freddie, welcome to the Funeral Nation show. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about PBF Manufacturing. Uh, PBF Manufacturing is a company my family started in 1975. We started as a cloth covered casket manufacturer, and we've grown over those years into a full service manufacturer. Uh, not only manufacturer, but distributor of caskets, urns, creation products. Cool. So uh, how long have you been distributing the Sitch caskets? We've been distributing Sitch products since 2008. Wow. That's uh, quite a while. So you're coming up on the anniversary next year, 10 years. 10 years. That's because I'm good at math. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, how did you come to know about Sitch? Uh, in 2007, we were buying from several different manufacturers and we were looking for a one source manufacturer, mostly for hardwoods. Um, one of the other casket companies we deal with, uh, Midwest Casket out of Salt Lake, introduced us to Sitch, showed us the product, introduced us to the Cyrus, and we've kind of been hooked ever since. Wow. Well, that's not a, that's kind of an interesting story. It's longer term. He's really new coming into the market nationally, but he's been around for some time. He has, yes. Good. 
So from your vantage point, you distribute caskets, you've been in this business for a while. What are the few um, advantages that Sitch offers for you know homeowners and families? When we first started dealing with Sitch, we were looking mostly for domestic suppliers, not import suppliers. As an import supplier, we were always worried because we never had that direct contact with the manufacturer. It was always through a third party. Uh, there was always a little bit of barrier in the communicating with them. With Sirius and Sitch Casket, I mean, we talk directly to Cyrus. Mm -hmm. He's not afraid of changing product, of improving product. Every time we have an issue, he fixes it. Wow. And that's not what we see from the other companies this supplies. Interesting. Well, there's a notion. Uh, do a great job, listen to the customer to get it done. Yes. And from a distributor standpoint, that's what we do with our funeral homes. Sure. So to have a company that supports us the same way to supply us with product, it's a win-win. Well, that's interesting because that's what funeral homes have to do. We got to rely on you. So this sounds like it's a wonderful relation, wonderful relationship from start to finish. It really is. It's been a pleasure to deal with six products, and I look forward to continuing Good. to deal with them. Well, thanks for uh, coming up here and visiting with us on Funeral Nation. And uh, we'll finish up this part and bring up the uh, star of the day, Mr. Sirius Chan. Hey, everybody, we're really excited. We have Sirius Chan of Six Caskets back with us. You were here last year. Welcome back to Funeral Nation, man. Thank you, Jeff and Ryan. It's good to have you here. So since last year, uh, you've really gotten into marketing your product. Share with us how it's going so far. Oh, it's been very well. We're getting a lot and lots of inquiries from uh, from our uh, social media and from, uh, from uh, marketing uh -huh. and outreach efforts from our distributors. Good. And everybody's watching on Funeral Nation, so they know who yes. you are. <laughs> yeah, we saw you at uh, NFDA, and man, your booth was just crazy busy. So that yeah. was exciting to see. Yes. So um, what's been the reaction to the caskets in your product? Um, the families and the uh, funeral homes, they're well accepting our products and uh, um, and our distributors, they're, they're happy with our service and, and quality. Very good. In fact, uh, today we're going to have an actual funeral home owner, a couple of them on here, and they're going to talk about that a little bit. So go back up what you're saying. So uh, are your distributors, are they now seeing more business because of bringing your product on? Yes, definitely. Because uh, people understand our products and what kind of service we offer and the qualities. And then it also helps our distributor to um, to sell our product. Got it. So the name speaking for itself and yes. the quality. Yes. There you go. That's great. Um, what parts of the country have you had the most explosive and new growth? Um, primarily will be where we start doing our conventions, like from uh, NFDA Philadelphia last year. Right. And then mostly they are coming from the areas that we have distributors set up. Gotcha. But uh, we also we are always looking for new distributors in the areas. Okay. That can service the the funeral homes. Very good. So distributors pay attention. Funeral directors you need to start asking mm -hmm. for. Um, is there a certain type of customer that's coming to you? I mean, a larger organization, smaller, or all funeral homes are seeking you now. Uh, basically, all funeral homes, but the larger size funeral homes, they see the value of how much they can save through a year. Right. So they will be the one that are most interesting. Right. I think you probably had one of the best uh, advertising pieces that says only your account will know. Yeah. I agree. That was brilliant. Yeah. That's out to my friends at LA Ads. Good job. Right. Um, this is an interesting question to date. Uh, the new Trump economy, right? Mm -hmm. Big deal about buying American products seems to be a priority. How is buying Stitch Casket making a sense of American funeral director to purchase? Um, the first fallacy would be is that me in America is a promise that is necessary a better product. It's not. The second fallacy is that all American brands are actually making their products in America. They're not. And then the third fallacy is that buying the only American-made product 
It's good for the American funeral homes and the American families they serve. Not if the funeral homes is making less and less money. Right. And the family is paying too much and getting lesser quality products. Right. I realized that me in America is really an emotional issue. Right. I also understand, but emotional does not serve um, the needs of the American funeral profession. I got that. And I think that's a really salient point that you have there that especially with uh, American casket manufacturers, all their cloth is made overseas. None of it's made here. I do know that there's lots of other parts and parcels. Mm -hmm. And there's some that have said uh, Biocondio, so they've gone south of the border. So, you know, uh, whether we're ordering Chinese or Mexican, mm -hmm. <laughs> either way, you got a little bit with your plate that comes in with the yeah. gas. Yeah, interesting. Absolutely. I think that's a really good uh, set of points that the city brought up. Um, how do you tackle the question of getting discounts or bonuses at the end of the year for big casket companies? And why is that so attractive to funeral homeowners? Ah, that's a good question. Those end of year bonuses comes at a very high price. It's like a big handcuff. So waiting till the end of the year, you get your money back. I will suggest, and it's better you manage your own money by yourself. Um, I'm in the, the financial business and uh, I think that's a pretty good point. Do you want you to manage your money or do you want the other guys to hold on to it, let you have it because you did a good job? Keep your own money today. Yes. Right? Because there's something that you said that you made up. It's something about getting rich or something. Yeah. What was that? We, we have a slogan. Uh, <laughs> Sitch makes you rich. Sitch makes you rich. Now, we could continue on with that, but this is a family show, so we're not going <laughs> to Bottom line is, you're exactly right, because in today's time frame, we're competing mm -hmm. for every dollar that we get. I think it makes a lot of sense that you buy the product for less, and the, the family pays less, and everybody wins all the way around. And you have the quality. Yes. All right? Yeah. Well, we're grateful that you're back. I think the next time we'll see you is NFDA. Uh, it will be ICC. Oh, good. So we're only a few weeks away. Yes. Right. Are you going to do karaoke singing some country music? <laughs> <laughs> no. Do it with me. I will. Uh, Ryan, we're on. Okay. <laughs> we'll just sing something. He and I will make it up some Willie Nelson and stuff. And we'll do a karaoke song. Great. All right. Well, thanks for being Thank on you. here. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Sears. Great interview segment, Jeff. It's fantastic to have all the parties involved uh, with the Sitch brand from manufacturer to distributor to getting it out to the consumer. So the interview segment was brought to us by Sitch Caskets. As you can see from the interview, they are changing the game. Makes a lot of sense to give them a look. Let's roll that promo. Funeral Nation is sponsored by Sitch Casket, importers of premium hardwood and fine metal caskets created exclusively for the North American marketplace. Is it a Sitch Casket or one of the top U.S. brands? Only your accountant can tell the difference. Visit Sitch Casket or contact your Sitch distributor. All right, Jeff, who's our uh, spotlight on today? Well, again, we're doing something a little bit different because we're on site. We hope to do some more of these soon. But today, we're going to shine a spotlight on Camino del Sol Funeral Chapel and Cremation Center here in Sun City West, Arizona. Let's roll that video. Hey, everybody. I'm excited. I'm out here in my native now, Arizona, but I'm a little further away from the uh, command post here visiting with the folks at the Camino del Sol Chapel, Funeral Chapel. Let me start all over. One, two, three. Hey, everybody, I'm excited to be out here in my native Arizona. It's wonderful, and I kind of moved to the northwest a little bit from where I'm normally at. I'm at the Camino del Sol Funeral Chapel and Cremation Center in Sun City, West Arizona, <laughs> and I'm here with two of the first family in funeral business, right? <laughs> Let the two of you introduce yourselves. I'm Karen Darby Ritz. And I'm Scott Darby. Right, Karen Darby Rich. Ritz. Ritz, okay, I want to make sure I get that right, because we have Rich Darby, Karen Darby Ritz. 
He's from the Ritz. Sitting on the Ritz. We've got <laughs> there we go. There we go. Anyway, we're here as part of our uh, tour with Sitch Caskets. And so I figured to ask, how long have you guys carried Sitch? Um, we've been carrying Sitch since 2008. Wow. So he's been around just a bit. Yeah. He's been around for a while. Excellent. How'd you come to know about it? You know, we, uh, our, our family, you know, has a presence at most of the, uh, the conventions, the yearly mm-hmm. conventions. So we've, we've, seen them on the convention floor and uh and they're they're just they're just great little there's a great product quite honestly we liked it good and you know we see a lot about domestic and imported um that's not an issue for you choosing as a funeral homeowner is it no no not at all good yeah interesting um so what's two or three things that you like carrying about carrying such caskets um, I, I tell you, uh, the, the quality is big. Wow. The quality is big. They, uh, they, they come into the showroom and they look fantastic. Good, They're beautiful. Exactly. Yeah, beautiful. Wow. And you can, you can just tell that they take, uh, they take the extra steps to, to put out uh, a good quality product. Um, I, the next thing I would say is, uh, is the appeal. Right. Because of the quality, our families will walk into the room and they'll naturally walk over to a stitch casket. Interesting. So, yeah. So that was a question I was going to ask. So a, a little after this, but it, you kind of led into it. So a family chooses a stitch casket simply because of appeal, but it also has to have a financial aspect. Oh, yeah. I would say that uh, that, that was going to be my last uh, my last word was going to be economical. Economical. Yeah. So you get great quality. You get great economical. Right. And course you get the Darby fam. You know, not everybody gets those. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly right. right. So uh we've got two out of how many? Two out of five. Two out of five. Okay. Of the third generation. Of the third generation. So two out of five. Yeah. Yeah. And how many's in the one behind? The one behind there's in the business six. Six, yeah. Yes, six. Wow. And we're working on the sixth generation, not me personally, but I was going to say we have another announcement today. Okay, it's a big deal. Well, thank you guys for hosting us and sharing and having me out here, and also we appreciate you for supporting Sitch Caskets. Oh, well, thank you for for pleasure. asking us. It was our pleasure. Good. Well, we're going to leave here. We're going to do some more stuff, but we're part of the uh, first family of funeral business. <laughs> Y'all take care. Great spotlight segment. Uh, Today's spotlight on a funeral director was brought to us by our new sponsors, United Community Bank, Mr. Alan Mulligan. We had him on a few weeks ago, and he he really wants to give you money, so I would watch this promo. All right, Mr. Commander, it's time to move on to our WTF segment. Uh, It's where we take a lighthearted look, something funny. In the funeral profession, I have to say that this is the most brutally honest obit I've ever read, and it's absolutely hilarious. Yeah, it uh, it really was a lot of buzz around it. This could have even been the buzz segment, but uh, apparently this guy was literally a jackass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. You for know sure. what? Uh, it, I, I think he deserved what he got, but anyway... Uh, some people said it was my twin brother. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I, I, you know, what, what I really think is interesting is the family used the platform of the bitch where to get it out. And, and more, more and more people are, uh, are, are, are using the obituary to get thoughts out and kind of going outside the, the cookie color tailored obit that we've been used to. So I think, uh, I think it was fantastic, not fantastic for, that guy, they were such a, a jerk, but, you know, it was a great way to use the, the, the obit to get some exposure. Yep, there you have it. So uh, when you read that, you go, what the funeral? <laughs> That's right. All right, Jeff, well, that wraps up episode 66. Uh, love that format of you being live somewhere. We got to do some more of these. So if you want us to come visit you and, and do a live Funeral Nation episode, it's pretty easy to get a hold of us. You can find us anywhere. That's it. We need to make sure also that this segment was brought to us and sponsored right. by AppCare.com. Right. My friend, in fact, I think we'll see him at ICCFA as well. How about roll that video? Are you a funeral director who just can't find time to follow up with your families? 
We all know how important aftercare is, but meeting with families and running a funeral home doesn't leave much time for anything else. The Aftercare Card Program is an automated program that sends out four cards plus a survey to your families during the first year following a loss. You simply go to aftercare.com and enroll your family and you're done. It literally takes about a minute and the cost is only $20 per family. Visit aftercare.com today to learn more and get a free sample. Okay, Jeff, that's a wrap. What do we got coming up next week? You know what? Um, I've always got stuff planned. Uh, we're going to interview somebody pretty cool. WTF is always there, and I guarantee a great spotlight. I don't want to give too much away. That's, fine. That's right. Can't open the can of worms too early. All right, brother. We travel safe back to uh, – you just got to go down the road a little bit. But until yeah. next time, have a great effing week. Out here. Y'all take care.